The Utz is currently Tyrol's longest free-flowing river. With rapids from class 1 to class 5, the river has become legendary amongst kayakers of all abilities. Its most famous section being the Velebrucker, where the Adidas Cycline World Championships used to take place. While most of the river remains well known about, there is a section just upstream of the bright lights of the Velebrucker that has become forgotten about. The Axtürzer. As with most sections of class 5 on the Utz, the Axtürzer is steep, powerful and technical. But while other pieces of the river have clear lines for kayakers to take, the Axtürzer's lines are harder to see amongst the rock piles found on this river and it maintains a reputation of being an outright dangerous piece of water. Finding a line down a rapid is not too dissimilar to completing a jigsaw. You have to pay attention to small details to create that bigger picture, with the kayaker being the last missing piece to the puzzle. However, the Axtürzer is a jigsaw with a few too many pieces that have been forced into place in a random, chaotic order. It is almost certainly not the nicest or best section of the Utz, but it's a solid piece of class 5 and the last remaining section of the Utz river that I haven't kayaked down. I met up with my mate Hugh at the top of the river. He was strong, funny, stoked on kayaking and a great person to be on the water with. He is also the only kayaker around right now that thought that this was a good idea. I see myself on telly! Mate, you're on telly! I'm on telly! I see myself, let's go! We put in way above the section and planned to kayak through the dam site to access the first set of rapids. Unfortunately, but perhaps not surprisingly, the construction team would not let us pass through, and so we had to portage around the dam site to get into the river. There she is, super steep, beautiful. Due to where we had to access the river, the first rapid we came to was the main rapid of the run. No warm-ups. We continued down the river, sometimes hopping out of our kayaks for a quick look, but often having to have longer talks about what lines to take. I was pleasantly surprised though of how many rapids we were ticking off. Sadly, it couldn't last forever. I think I could maybe have bashed down this one and probably been okay, but ultimately I only wanted to do it to have a no portage descent down the river, which is not a good reason to send a rapid that you're not sure about and to risk possibly getting hurt. Sometimes it's better not to view the bigger picture, but to take things step by step and approach them as they are right in front of you. 
With more water that rapid will go, but for now on this descent we portaged around it. Putting back in the river we found a beautiful rock move that I just couldn't resist. The rapids after this are a jangle of boulder gardens, but we got down everything and came into the final rapid of the Akstürzer. A winding dog leg rapid with a decent sized hole to get over, which is of course, like most things on this section of river, backed up by a rock. With us both at the bottom, we didn't even stop to celebrate, but blasted instead straight into the first rapids of the Vellabrucker that we both know so well. After a slow day of scouting and piecing together the river upstream, it was beautiful to just be able to cruise again. Happy to have finally kayaked all of the Ertz River. Even happier still to have discovered that the rumours of an unrunnable mess aren't true and that instead I have a new piece of water to session, but still so very sad about the ongoing work on the dam project in the Ertz Valley. The small piece to the picture is that the dam will negatively impact one of my favourite rivers. The bigger picture is that the Tyrolean government and the dam company pulled several dirty tricks to begin construction amidst the global pandemic and against EU regulations, and that if we don't all work together, the destruction of the Utz River will continue. For more information on how you can help stop the destruction of the Utz River, please check out the following campaigns. From the Free Rivers Fund, Save Our Rivers, Wet, the World Wild Fund for Nature and Patagonia.